Freya, you mentioned that Thimblewinter had worn down some of Odin's curses, but you still needed help. Was it Sigrun who helped you recover your warrior spirit? Is that how Odin liked to refer to the curse that kept me from defending myself? Oh, I suppose that is where I have it. Would you like to know how that curse really worked? What it did to me? What it cost me to finally break it? I... I'm no longer sure that I do. That's correct. Well, Sigrun must have helped find your Valkyrie wings. Were they hidden in the place I get? They were not. But yes, she did. Argued all the while I should let my anger go. But help me just the same. Tell me of this power Heimdall wields. He sees the future. More like he reads the person, sees their intention. My intent will be to kill him. Knowing that will be no advantage. Brother, this is no one to underestimate. Any move you make, he'll have seen it coming. If you must face him, we need something else. An edge. Humor me? Very well. We will ask the dwarves. Ah. The inevitable asking of the dwarves. Excuse me, sir. Could I have a moment of your time? Oh dear, oh dear. What's to be done? What is it you want? It has come to my attention that Neethog has been slain. And as a result, her offspring have been let loose into the Nine Realms. What of it? Unfortunately, without a proper role model to supervise them, the little rascals are certain to fall to mischief. In time, said mischief could culminate in nothing less than their devouring of the Nine Realms entirely. In order to avoid such a grisly fate, I'd like you to bring the Lindworms to me. I believe I can act as a satisfactory paternal figure in their upbringing. You'll find the specimens gnawing on tears throughout the realms. Use this device to safely store them, bring them back to me, and I promise I'll make it worth your while. You mean to say you'd raise them by yourself? Indeed. I have no small experience managing extreme personalities. Compared to wrestling with my emotions in the most literal of senses, I dare say raising a handful of leaned worms will be a walk in the park. Well, any questions before you travel on? back. They're back. Simmer down. I see them. I have news. Oh. Did the Norns tell you how to get Atreus back? Do we have a plan? The Norns say Atreus will be killed by Heimdall. The plan is to kill Heimdall first. Oh, wow. Okay, Heimdall. Let's see. Never loses. Sees everything coming. Unpopular at parties. This won't be easy. Whatever his advantages. I will overwhelm him with my own. That's the idea. You gotta overpopulate his senses, see? And I got just the thing in mind to help you do it. Sindri, go get Dropnir. Dropnir? But we need it. Our supplies. Oh, we got plenty. And to spare. Even if we did, Dropnir's no weapon. Why would a... Oh. You mean we combine it with... That's right. And then when he... It'll go... Damn you, that's brilliant. Very well. I suppose there's nothing to do but... Go fetch Dropnir. Dropnir? I bloody knew these two had nicked it. And Odin blamed me for it disappearing. They stole Dropnir. We didn't steal nothing. We just ungifted what never should have been gifted in the first place. How will it help me kill Heimdall? Never you mind all that. It's a fucking surprise. We're artists. 
But to even store Dropnir, you'd need... You were saying... So now you intend to kill Heimdall. Violence cannot prevent violence, Kratos. I truly thought you understood that. No matter what you thought I understood, my son is in danger. You will not allow harm to come to him. Not only to Atreus, but to everyone. He's Odin's left hand and he carries the horde that begins Ragnarok. If we have the chance to eliminate him, we then should. And it's just as likely a trap because the bastard knows your intentions. Kratos, I've never seen anyone so much as lay a finger on him. Not one. Well, I gathered what's fit for gathering. How long will it take? We'll have to go to Svartalfheim to get the rest of the materials. Not to mention, we'll have to visit the lady. Oh. Ooh, that's a relief. <laughs> mm. Ow. Kratos, whenever you're ready. The lady? No idea what he's on about, brother. Good fit. The cutter of hearts and the fury of the sky. And for the Valkyrie Queen? What do you need?
see out there. Ah, time to go see the lady. I'll take it from here. Oh, no! This whole thing were my idea. I'll speak to the lady. I never get to speak to the lady. There are reasons for that. Brock will go. What? No, no, no. I you have to. heard him. Quit your Fred. I ain't gonna mess nothing up. What the? <sighs> no, you pimp shrimps. Think that'll keep us out? Well, think the fuck again. What was all that, then? Oh, just Sindri trying to hog all the glory. Same old shit. Not that. The gate. What's wrong with a bloody gate? Most likely someone in neither of Valir been making a fuckery of the works. Probably on account of all that incursioning you got up to. But don't worry, you little dangling head. Old Brock came prepared. I got ways in and out from the old days. Gates did never even think to look for, on account of being stupid. Brock, where are we? This here's your stop. Abandoned service tunnel, direct to the forge camp. I'll meet you up there. Go on. Brock. And he's gone. You sure he was the right pick for this, brother? I trust him. It's plain. And yet so colorfully. There. We keep cooperating, maybe someday it'll be Asgard in the plane. That's not my goal. Doesn't mean it's not your destiny. What are you insinuating, Highness? Not a thing. Why it's an abandoned service tunnel. Careful, brother. That looks flammable. <laughs> Go! <laughs> <laughs> 
Another oil spill. <laughs> ah, a fortuitous oil spill. Please listen. You have to let me take Brock's place. He can't talk to the lady. He mustn't. No. Do not ask again. But... Oh dear. Why would he hide in here? He feared something in these tunnels more than he feared starving. Hardly seems rational. Fear seldom is.
It's not his fault Atreus ran off with him. Or are you just being Brock's champion? There it is again! You're insinuating, and you know it. Can't the smartest man alive put it together? The Giants conceal a mysterious figure who changes the fate of Ragnarok, and you're oblivious to the only rational candidate. The one who's fought wars against gods and won. I am not their champion. Well, we're each entitled to our opinion. Where there's a gear like that, there's usually a chain somewhere. The sigil arrows should work with ice as well. Gates seem to be connected. See if you can break that far picture. That was a bloody heartier sort of grim. These won't be easy tunnels for the dwarves to take back. We'll need to get one of those gates open. We've seen these troughs before, haven't we, brother?
That worked. Shall we? This opinion of yours, was that the reason you proposed this alliance? You expect me to lead your armies at Ragnarok? That is Tyr's job, not mine. It's plain to see Tyr's no war god anymore. Nor am I. I have left that life behind. Not killing gods, you haven't. Or else what are we doing in this realm? Forging this weapon? Your choice. You know where it might be. I am only protecting I my- I know. I know. And we both know the places protecting your child can take you. Cover! The wee bastard's about to explode! Now, where have they got the third one hidden away? Careful! Those Grim are possessed by nightmares! They'll be even more dangerous until we stun them!
Atreus's mother was a giant, isn't that right? She was one of the Jotnar. Yes. <laughs> I didn't mean she was tall as a house. I, I know not all giants are giants. Not that there's anything wrong with the disparity in size. Or number of limbs, say. Nothing in the world. There. Now we can open the other gate. Why is it you ask? I was just thinking of how Odin antagonized the giants for generations. Nearly wiped them out of existence twice. Now you may have a role to play in stopping him once and for all. Don't you think it's possible that's what your wife would have wanted? Do not presume to know what she wanted. I'm not saying anything you haven't thought. Her secrets haunt every step of your path, wasn't it? Maybe if you talked about your doubts, they wouldn't explode when you talk to your son. I do not doubt. She knows what I left behind. She would never have asked that of me. Why would she need to ask? She saw your fate. Three of Odin's kin dead because of the path she put you on. You don't think she knew exactly what it meant, sending you to Jotunheim? This is mere conjecture and probably quite enough of it, Highness. We're all making an effort to cooperate here, after all. You're right. Stop for me to say. Right, let's get that wheel turning. <laughs> That's a start. Let me know if I can help you. <laughs> ah, teamwork. There's two of them. And they're angry.
Ready for some fresh air after that. Everyone thought so. It is close. I can feel it. provoke you or cast doubt on your marriage. It just seems to me your thoughts haven't caught up to your instincts yet. Then I know something about that. <laughs> when we get out of here, I'll give you some space. Let you think carefully about whether you're ready for what it means to make this weapon, and to use it. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'll see what else I can learn while we're here. Maybe I'll send a few Ain Herjar back to Valhalla for good measure. Well, you have fun now. Hey, you made it! About time. I got everything all set here. Now we just gotta push on up to the forge. Falky! Pain's coming here, busting old tear loose. What a prize he turned out to be, huh? <sighs> Lucid enough when it's time to steal my kitchen, though. <sighs> <clears throat> Nasty, just cause I make weapons, huh? <laughs> Better take out that nest or it'll be Eyeball City out here. Old Brock to the rescue! <laughs> Hmm? These mutts? Nope. 
forge ahead. Unintended, I imagine. to that trick. Locals up ahead. That's civilized, and hopefully nobody springs an alarm. No, quit your nattering, you snake-sucking mommy milksops with your protective gear. Ain't you never seen a legend in the flesh before? See what's wrong here, don't you? Those creepy flying eyeballs made a nest up on the cables. We gotta figure a way up there and clear them all. Brother, did you notice the dwarves of the camp were twice as alarmed to see Brock than they were to see you? They did seem surprised. All right. Now I can turn this prank and cap that geyser there. You just give me the signal. <laughs> now. On it! Ah, 
promising. Turn it. Copy that. There you go. Right Turn on it again. Aye, aye. Game's over. Come on through and get those cables. 